All right, I think we can get into this Rocky project now. I mean, I've already been doing some things in the background. I got a back glass for it. I got a plastic set. I got two back glasses. That's a whole nother story. Well, I'll tell you real quick, just since I brought it up. I opened this game up and you probably saw in the videos, I'm like, this thing needs a back glass. I'm thinking to myself, what? This guy's expecting a lot of me. What am I supposed to do here? I don't think I'm gonna be able to find a Rocky back glass that easily. And, um, so I text the guy that owns it, real nice guy, I've done a few games for him, always, you know, couldn't ask for a better guy to deal with. And he's like, I, I thought I sent you a translate for that. And I was thinking to myself, well, I need a translate. I don't want to translate anyway. I need a back glass. So type in Rocky back glass and it didn't take much research before one popped up. There's one on eBay. You can get the production version or you can get the movie version. And the guy's got excellent feedback. He's in, a, in Italy got excellent feedback nobody seems unhappy with the glasses they're getting so i'm like cool i'm gonna buy that so i bought that it's not cheap probably like four four hundred and some dollars or whatever you know not a cheap back glass and about a, so i go ahead and do that and about a week later so before this one arrives that i bought but too late to cancel it uh the gentleman that, that i'm doing the game for sends me this copy of a ups receipt where he shipped me a a back glass for this game uh, amongst some other parts and it was in november of 2022 and that's like that's just really not like me i don't ever lose track of anything i could find i could go over to my warehouse right now and find the smallest bracket that i put there you know 10 years ago i mean i got a really good memory i'm real you know like i don't forget much of anything but i get to look and i'm like november of 2022 what in the hell and it dawned on me, in November of 2022, the very week that that back glass was shipped to me and arrived here, I was living in this building. They were refinishing my hardwood floors, so all the furniture was out of the house. We couldn't go in there. And as a consequence, anything that came in, we would just real quickly grab it and throw it in the closet in the garage, which isn't where we'd normally keep parts, but just, you know, I can't get in the house I can't do much I'm kind of overseeing the work that's going on there we, we can't you know we're sleeping out here it's just it's kind of a miserable week but so then I go look in the garage and look under the steps where we would do that that very week the only week we would do that and tucked away all the way back in the corner sure enough there was the rocky back glass and the box just like it arrived so I got two of them now no big deal I'll eat the one that I bought and uh, I'm gonna actually use the one that I bought and keep the, the one that he sent as a spare, but I'm doing that out of pride. It's like, ah, I'm not, I'm not giving into the fact that I, I bought this glass for no reason. I will say this glass came from the exact same source in, in Italy, and uh, I was able to get a plastic set for it too from the very same source, so great reproductions are happening over there. Um, pinball back glass 80, I'm not a hype man, but I was very happy with the quality of glass. It looks great. Plastic sets look great, packed well, good communication. So, you know, good to have options, especially when you're talking about this kind of stuff where there's basically no option, you would think. So we do have the back glass and a plastic set and I'm at a point with it now where a few things need to happen. I need to break it down and I gotta really break it down. I gotta break down all these target banks and all this metal and get it off to the platers. That's one thing. I'm having a cabinet built. Uh, or I, I gotta scan this cabinet, but I don't wanna scan it until I really fully break it down because I don't want anything in my way like a coin door or a shooter rod or just anything. I want it to be free and clear of parts so I can really get a good scan on it. But uh, yeah, I mean, here we go. This is, this is ready to kick off. I have an all-in-one board for it that I got from, I think it's Pascal, maybe. That's correct, I don't know. I got redneck um, ways of pronouncing pretty much anything uh, other than 100% English. And even then, that's questionable. But uh, I do have an uh, all-in-one board. I'm gonna probably have to send the speech board off and have it. Uh, repaired because I was able to get the the swimmer boards but of course as we know he's passed away and I don't know what the outcome of that's going to be uh, for the long term but as of right now you're not going to get 
one of those sound boards, which is unfortunate. Those were great in my experience. They work really well coupled with the all-in-one and then the power supply for the, the speech board and you had a really nice solid setup of new boards uh, for these System 80 games. So I'm going to start with that though. I'm going to get organized. I'll clear this stuff off my workbench and I am going to just go about tearing this thing down. It's not exactly the way I would like to do it, but for a, re a few reasons I need to do it that way. Um, we need to have things plated. I got to get my hands on the play field because I got to restore this play field. I need to gut this cabinet because even though I'm having a new cabinet built for it, I got to scan it. And so I just really need to take this thing all apart. And in order for me to take it all apart, I got to take a whole lot of photos. I'm going to have to break out my actual camera and put the memory card in it and take really detailed photos of it. And that is, you know, a tedious process also. But we're going to get started. Today's the day. better on my phone it's not that I can't but the issue with it is a lot of times on the phone after a while if you don't have one of these you'll be like oh, I need to delete all these rocky photos and then next thing you know one comes in so I like to put them on my little shop computer Alright, we got some good starting general photos. Let's start taking some stuff off. I really want to get my hands on these target banks, so I'll start taking these off. It looks like these are on plugs for the most part. We'll see. I unplug the biggest one. I always try to start with the worst thing first. These screws will just be trash. They're number eights though, so I want to make sure I get a good stock if I don't already have a good stock of number eights. And you know, sure enough, they'll do something like this, and I don't, I'll never understand it. It's like, they went through the trouble to put this on the plug, but yet it's hardwired right there. So we'll have to cut that. We'll just cut that pretty far back and get it off there and make a connector for it. I'll go ahead and make a connector for it and, and wire it All right then. But yeah, this is a pretty complicated little target bank. I guess it's got some auto knockdown feature. So that'll be something we got to deal with. Drop targets look like they might be new, so I'll have to weigh them against the ones I got. I got some new ones also, but we'll figure it out. Let's not let things get ahead of us. Let's just do one thing at a time, because that's that's going to serve you way better than just going in here and going crazy. All right, take my camera, take some good pictures. Set this. I'll take a picture of it upright. All right, as usual, these we've got a bunch of flat screws. We're going to toss all that. Do not want flat screws. Not worth fooling with. I may have to reuse the the flat screws from the switches. Need to make a small plug for this. Like I said, not not too bright. I mean, why put everything on a plug if you're only going to have to go cut a wire to get something off? All right, I'm going to take this plate and throw it in my bin to have it plated. Now that I've got it apart a little bit, I'm going to take some more pictures just so I get a good 
idea of how this goes. All right, probably need to get this plated. You got, you got this, you got that, so over there. All right, so let's see. This, I feel confident I can just tumble these. And even if they don't come out perfect, they should be fine for what they do and where they go. These you don't see. This I'm gonna blast. So, uh, this will definitely tumble. It looks real nice. I don't see really anything to worry about on this too much. Pretty minor, okay. So I think we're okay there. It's a little something there, it should tumble up. All right, so we had to break all that down just so we could get these four items to put in our plating. And that's gonna be the case uh, with only two more target banks. So uh, let, me, let me get reorganized, let me get everything together and we'll, we'll come back on and we'll go from there. Okay, got everything in categories. I'm gonna save all this hardware for now, but I'm gonna wind up switching everything over to Phillips screws, including these, these 540 screws. I, I found some of these, I ordered them with the Phillips head variety because it just, you know, uh, slotted flat screws, I just, I just don't like working with them. And so what, what you see remaining are things that I'll wash and leave alone. Like this would be something I would pretty much wash and leave alone, less changing these rusty uh, keeps nuts out for and washers for nice ones that aren't rusty. And um, coil I'll replace. This I need to replace I should have these. This is just a pretty standard score switch, I think. Um, these items, I can tumble those. Those look good. This stuff I will blast, uh, even though you would think I would get it plated. The reason I don't want to get this plated is, and I can knock this roll pin out and take the plunger off, but the issue is anytime something's slotted like this and it needs to slide up and down, you really stand a chance of ruining it with plating because that plating can get thick in there and it'll make things bind. And in these, it doesn't take much to get something off. You'd be surprised. So for that reason, I can blast it and it will cause it no problems and it will fit uh, right back inside of there and actuate like it always has and you won't see it. It'll look way better than this though. So that's what I'll do with that. These little arms, I'm gonna just blast those and tumble them because much the same reason they, they have rust on them, but if you get these plated, it could get as thick as closing up the gap right here and you won't be able to hook the spring on it. It can make the hole too small, so it binds. It's hard to get it in and out of there, so don't want to do that. Uh, we're pretty much just sticking with these parts that are mostly framing and mostly uh, the cosmetic portions of what we see when it's the play field set up in the upright position. So. These, not too much to worry about. Maybe have to tap something, something like that, but nothing that can really get compromised there. And I think other than that, I have this little thing right here. I just kind of slid all the springs on there and all the, the keeper parts so they, they don't get lost, but just polish this stuff. as so I just wash it and polish it, and it should be fine. So that's the categories. Break everything down, get that done. Then we'll set out to do some of those things, throw some of the stuff in the tumbler, blast some of the stuff, and at least have it ready to where when we get that stuff back from the platers and we get the screws uh, that we don't have, which are the number fives, we'll wait for those. Then we can just assemble this and, and keep on. All right, I got a good bit of the parts off of here, mostly the target tanks. Some other stuff out of here, like this bell. I have no idea how this will come out, but it needs to be plated. The lock bar mechanism, um, tilt mechanism, very rusty inside. A couple miscellaneous brackets here and there. And I need to get, I'll see how much of it I can get off. I need to get as much of it off as I can today and over to the platers. I think the next thing I'm going to do is probably focus on some of these, probably this jet bumper brackets. I think I have some of these sling style brackets, so I might not go that route. Let me think one, two, and that one needs to be replaced anyway. 
I think I have these. I'm not gonna fool with these. I probably will take this one off that looks a little bit more specific. And these jet bumper brackets, I'll take these off. I mean, only technically one or two of them really need it, but at the same time, just to have it consistent, it's probably best to do, to go ahead and take those off. Three of these. Yeah, one more to get off there. Let me focus on something that's probably a little bit more important. Let me get this. Let me get this coin door off. this plated looks pretty straight so that's good these things are never straight as soon as you take them apart and I think that's everything it's worth getting plated on this round I'm going to turn it all out There we go, 64 pieces. 64 pieces to be polished and nickel plated. This is probably a, I'm gonna guess 800, maybe a little bit more than that, $800 worth of plating right here. So not particularly fun, but that's what needs to happen.